Well, hello again and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio Channel. Haven't been around much lately because I've been having so much fun. Right, now, just, uh, just a, a very quick video to show you a couple of things that arrived in the mail, that you might be interested in. This has come from China. And it's the valve bases for the RK71s. They're very nicely packaged, aren't they? Look at that, beautiful. Not a crack. So these are the uh, the valve bases for the RK71s. Very similar to the 813 um, Tetros, but these are the, the RK71s are pentodes. So these are going to be the um, uh, provide the screen grid modulation for my GU81Ms. So that's good. Just waiting for the valves. And I was very pleased to receive this all the way from the United States so that uh, I don't have to I don't have to keep borrowing stuff from work I ordered myself a brand new Bird 43 from, uh, from the United States and here it is so I haven't opened the box I've just covered up the address there for CS Castle um, it's come from Martin RF Supply in Arlington and uh, actually I noticed after I bought this there was another gadget on their website that I wished I'd bought at the same time so if you're watching this Martin RF Supply uh, you may be getting a uh, getting a few more quid out of me before the uh, not too distant uh, or in the not too distant future right this is well packaged as well can't open it uh, look God. Promising. So what I did before was I bought a couple of uh, slugs, uh, coaxial dynamic slugs from Martin RF Supply in America uh, for the Bird 43 watt meter, but I had to keep borrowing a bird meter from work to, to actually use them. And uh, sometimes I'll be, uh, I find myself with a, uh, some time at the weekend and I thought I might want to do something to play amplifier projects or something. and no bird meat. so I mean I could always go into work and unlock it and then get one but that falls into the CBA category where the uh, the C and the B stand for can't be and uh, I'm sure you can figure out what the A stands for right there we go. right might actually keep these these might come in handy for something you know, for, for stress relief for, for squeezing you know when I'm listening to uh, top band and uh, looking for enough uh, RG214 uh, to make a noose you know, sort of thing. Uh, uh -huh. there isn't in the box a little bit And he sent me some handy. Uh... Oh, okay, so uh, this must be the well. This is the calibration chart, presumably for that meter, is it? Or is it? This is no. This is just a, um, a reverse power, forward power to SWR converter, is it? Uh, I'll have a look at that, but uh, thank you anyway, that's, uh, that's great. I'm sure I'll figure out what's going on with that before too long. And uh, some other useful bits and pieces there, available from the same place. It's funny, I'm just seeing the word warning written on top of the box here. It reminds me, years ago I was... I was helping someone do a job in a supermarket in Bristol, and uh, I was down in the cellar, and there were these big red sacks, bright red sacks, and they had warning written on them in huge black letters, and then underneath it had written potatoes. <laughs> warning potatoes. Okay, so. 
Uh, peel back tape, infrared layout. Hang on, let's just see what this says. Now, if all, if all else fails, read the instructions. Okay, it says test one, examine package if you see red outlining tape edge, red outlining tape edge has been cut, it has been tampered with. Okay, so let's just have a look at that. Nope, no tampering there. Terrific. Okay. Now we get down to the nitty gritty. Right. <laughs> right now. Uh, oh, yes, look at that. What a beauty. And I've got a, a disc in there that I'll load into the computer and see what it's got to say. But there it is. My very own brand new, brand shiny, spanking new Bird 43 Watt Meter. So next time you see me doing a uh, power measurement, power measurement on the amplifier or on the output of the radio or a smaller amplifier, I'll be using my very own Bird 43. So that's uh, that's fantastic. And just out of uh, just just for um, interest, say. Um, this delivered to my door was 507 Australian dollars. So that's uh, that was I think it was 339 for the meter, and the rest was uh, the rest was postage, and uh, got here very promptly as well. I can't remember how long it took now, but it wasn't very long. So uh, from the United States. So uh, so there you go. Some of the prices you see in Australia for these things is really quite horrific. So um, if you have a look on the net, you can get them for a much more reasonable price overseas. Okay, well as always, uh, thanks for watching, hope you found that interesting, and uh, I'll catch you next time.